Hello, Princess, and welcome, members of the court. We are at Ocean View Cafe for lunch, and we are going to try something new, something different. Theme of this cruise, one bite of everything. I think we've picked the perfect ship to try this on because, well, it's substantial. It's not overwhelming. I thought about doing this on Norwegian Bliss, and that would have been, wow. Just a couple of, well, ground rules. I am going to take one bite of everything that I can grab a bite of. I don't want to waste food, so I'm not going to grab a whole steak and only have one bite. That would be silly, but we're going to go through the buffet. We are going to grab one bite of everything we can and give it all a try. All right, I'm up for it. Let's go. So, for example, while the pizza looks great, yeah, not going to count or not going to be included. We may have to try this on MSC. These plates are really, really small. Pasta with ham and peas and that. There's going to be cottage pie, steak and Guinness pie, and chicken and mushroom pie. Things like sauces and condiments aren't part of it either. Let's get some seafood pie, broccoli and cheddar quiche, cauliflower mornay, and mushy peas. There's going to be spinach hummus, beetroot hummus, baba ganoush, sun-dried tomato hummus, classic hummus, but no pita bread. There's wild rice, sautéed root vegetables, Thai vegetable curry, sautéed spinach with tofu, and ratatouille. There's dal, pork vindaloo, chicken butter, oh, butter chicken with nuts, vegetable handi, and Paratha. Norwegian, these are chips. They're really easy to get. There will be guac, refried beans, no cheese sauce, chili con carne, and beef fajitas, but no quesadilla. All right, pass on the refried beans. It's more like a soup. And I think the fajita is chicken. A grilled zucchini and mushroom, a mushroom. We are gonna skip the cod, chicken breast, pork chop, flank steak, and that means no chimichurri. Well, that is, it, it's a sauce. Almost done. Garlic rice, pancit noodles, chicken adobo, and tofu with chili bean sauce. Last station for garden fresh salad, pasta and ham salad, and red skin potato salad. Here we are. One bite of everything. It was not as uh, whelming as I was worried it would be. This looks entirely manageable. I do already have one improvement for next time. I will show the progression of the plate. This took, I don't know, maybe 10, 15 minutes to assemble. Most of it was just waiting for the station to be clear so I could show you everything that's, uh, well, here, and then go ahead and grab it in small enough bites. Oh boy. That was probably the hardest part of this whole thing. <laughs> yes, the tint is blue. It's because of the windows. And sorry, I don't really have a better way to frame this other than well, setting it up like this and really leaning into it. But, well, here we go. I, well, I was going to originally try to have one bite by bite, but everything's kind of like, I don't know, all together. So we will do the best we can. And I guess <laughs> it is, yes. I'm missing those MSC plates, but well, here we go. I guess we'll start off with the salad. Okay, hold on. This is the fresh garden salad. Mm, okay. no. Definitely fresh. Mm, hold on. Uh-oh. Oh, darn. It's already a failure. It's going to be two bites. Oh, well. Mm -hmm. Then there's this pasta salad. It's also from the salad station, so here we go. Mm-hmm. I was almost a bit late because I was watching this absolutely epic meme about the January 6th Capitol tour and selfie event, which is what it is, and that's how <laughs> this meme uh, was so perfect, absolutely perfect. The question, well, I don't really the question. Yeah, the question I've been, well, posing for quite a while, and we do this since the beginning, by the way, this is not a secret, is um, if the Capitol Police were just kind of chilling out during this whole thing, wouldn't that make them accomplices? But even in a grander scheme, they didn't tell anybody to leave, apparently. Uh, maybe they did, but mm, I guess it wasn't uh, that forceful. Even the trespassing charges are really suspicious. And to justify it, what these people keep saying is, oh, the guards did not have authority to wave them in, which they did, by the way. The thing is, just take that out of context or out of this particular context. And if they're saying that guards can't wave you in, does that also mean that they can't tell you to leave the premises? No, don't don't um, don't think yourself into a corner, lefties. Well, 
<laughs> I know, I know it's asking a lot. Anyway, uh, this is the quiche, I think. Well, the broccoli or vegetable quiche. This is one of the root vegetables, I think. Now, actually, I don't even remember what's on the plate, but okay, it's one bite. This is one bite. Another one bite. This is the chili con carne. And oh, speaking of vegetables, uh, something that, oops, well, now it's uh, back to one bite. So something you're gonna hear from veggies and vegan is that uh, we are not supposed to be eating meat because our teeth don't look like wolf's teeth. Um, okay, yeah, no, see the problem is, well, the problem with that argument is it's dumb because our teeth are the way they are because we have evolved up here, well, at least <laughs> some of us have, to cook our food. So our teeth are perfectly well designed for eating cooked meat. Yeah, it's really that simple. Mm. Mm. Alright, so this rice is here. I don't know what it's on. Ah, oh, there, uh, it, I know. <laughs> Try to eat one scoop of rice. Uh, yeah, this probably was not the best idea. Oh. Oops. You know what? We're gonna have to grab the rice and the bow tie pasta all in one go. At least as as much as we can. <clears throat> Mushroom. Mm. I think this is the sea, stuffed seafood. Oh, I hope it is because I don't really recognize it. Changing gears because why not? Humans and ESB or extra sensory perception or telepathy. And thought about this a little bit, and I say, why not? We don't actually know if there isn't something going on. Think about it. Our brains are so complex, and they are basically, I don't know, um, electronic devices that emit radiation. And who's to say that? we don't have the ability to detect the radiation emitted by other people's brains. And it is possible that this like twin telepathy is simply because their brains are wired so similarly that they can actually detect the, the radiation produced by their twin. So that leads to this whole like, um, they do the same thing, same time, that kind of thing, because they're transmitting their behavior, if you will, uh, from one to the other, and why why isn't this more common? Well, our brains are so complex that maybe the patterns are just so different that we can't perceive it, but twins' brains are similar enough to perceive uh, the thoughts of their twin because they, they have the same hardware, so I don't know, why, why couldn't that work? <laughs> makes, uh, makes a lot of sense to me, and well, at least in sci-fi, yeah, you have... Um, you have beings that are wired to intercept and interpret the signals from all sorts of living creatures, right? I mean, yes, we we may very well turn into a race of basils, and ooh, wouldn't that be fun? Oh no, we actually don't want that because you you don't want to know what other people are thinking. Oh, all right, we're back. That was the adobo chicken. It had a bone in it. <laughs> I should have checked. That was um, not expected. This must be the potato salad. Well, a potato from the potato salad. Okay. This is the dal. And what was next to it? Butter chicken. There was cauliflower up there? No. A bite of baba ganoush. Okay, um, it's probably gonna be good, but uh, baba ganoush is, it has an interesting texture, and I would understand, I, at least I understand why a lot of people don't like it. And a whole bite of it? Well, all right. The spinach and tofu. Oh. Yeah, sorry this keeps moving. It's propped up 
a little bit precariously and I have to keep adjusting it. It doesn't take very well to do that. Oh well. Oh, okay, this is one of the pies. I don't really know which one, but well, it's one of them. I think, oh, you know what? I think this is the seafood. There, was there a seafood pie up there? Pie was one of the answers to trivia this morning. The uh, question was, what does pizza mean in Italian? Anyway, um, yes, I got it right. Uh, anyway, this I'm pretty sure is the shepherd's pie. I, I don't know. I, I, I really don't know. It's good though. Right, the green hummus was the garlic hummus, I think. I don't really remember, but well, I think this is the one with had the. <clears throat> this is the one that had the big pieces of garlic on it. Yes, okay, go ahead and make the joke about uh, going to bed alone. I know, I know. Hmm. Beetroot. I had this yesterday. It was, um, interesting. And yeah, the, the meat for the fajitas, uh, it's chicken, not, not beef. I think this is the Thai curried vegetables. I took a piece of eggplant. I remember specifically taking a piece of eggplant, so here we go. I remember taking this, but I don't... I don't remember what it is. It's uh, like stewed vegetables or something. Oh, no. No, it's not the ratatouille. Oh, oh, this is the Thai vegetables. The other was the ratatouille. That's what it was. Okay, there we go. Stewed something, I guess. I don't remember. Not a clue. It's good, though. Weird. The ones I really don't remember are the best ones. I'm pretty sure these are the Thai noodles. I mean, they're some kind of noodles, but ooh, I don't remember. Ooh, maybe that's... That's a good thing. But anyway, oh, I've been watching a lot of uh, park and coaster videos lately, preparing for this summer. So hopefully that works out. And the thing is, um, coaster fans out there, ooh, be warned. It seems that some of these parks are getting away with closing rides for extended periods of time for, well, I don't want to say no reason, but they're not really giving any reason. They're not really doing anything. And if we let them get away with this, uh, that could be a thing. They just close a, a big ride for a season or two in order to reopen it later on and have kind of some kind of mini grand opening. opening <laughs> have some kind of mini grand opening, like um, you know, like a, a marketing thing. Literally just a marketing thing. Although the dirty little secret is they're saving a ton of money probably on operating and maintenance costs. I mean, they're still maintaining the ride. Of course, they're going to reopen it, but they don't have to maintain it as frequently. So, uh, yeah, let's let's be careful. We can't let them make this a habit because they they will start to do it. There's a bean counter who's probably already running the numbers. Well, anyway, the noodles. Well, they would be better warmer, but mm, that's on me. Anyway, oh, and the carrots and the last of the clock. I think this is harissa hummus? If it is, it's very, very mild. That means this is, well, mostly. <laughs> At this point, who knows? At the sun-dried tomato hummus. Well, almost done. That famous Adele song is playing, and again, I ask, I just, just get over it. Stop whining, okay? It's over. He's gone. Just forget about it. Jeez. All right, the last of the hummus. Well, this is gonna be two bites because a little, a little got a little more than I intended. It's kind of hard to scoop one bite of hummus, but all right. Mm -hmm. And well, last bite. Hmm. All right. Well, um, yeah, that's not sexy. So, bye. That was one bite of everything biteable here in the Ocean View Cafe aboard the classic Celebrity Silhouette. That actually turned out to be more manageable than I thought it would. It sounds like a lot, but if you do literally take just one bite of everything, it's uh, entirely doable. And you know what? It's uh, doable in a way that's not that gluttonous. I know the whole title and thumbnail are gonna be like, oh my God, but no, this is, actually this is less food than I've seen a lot of other people take. So anyway, okay, I am going to have dessert now. 
And that's not gonna be one bite because you can't do it. There's cookies and cakes and all that kind of stuff. So uh, we don't want to waste it. So we're just gonna go and grab a couple things I have in mind and round this up. I can hear it now. You Red Ringers are always trying to round things up. Well, when it's delicious desserts, oh yeah, we are absolutely going to round it up. Ooh, like lemon meringue cupcake. Grab me a lasso or just a plate and a spoon. That'll work just as well. Not necessarily one bite, but kind of close actually. This mess here is the chocolate trifle. This is a chocolate macadamia nut cookie. This is the lemon tart and a chocolate ganache cake and NSA butter pecan ice cream. And like I said, I don't like to waste food, so it's gonna be way more than one bite. This is the ice cream, which wasn't that great yesterday. It had vanilla and it had nothing to do with the wrong sprinkles. Better, but it's still really sweet. How do they get away with saying no sugar added? Do they mean no cane sugar? Could be other sweeteners in there, but oh well. This is the lemon meringue cupcake. I was hoping it was key lime, but no. That was actually like I haven't seen. Ooh, I haven't seen anything key lime yet. Yes, celebrity. All right, the cake is good. Could be a lot better, but at least it's not. Ugh, we're not gonna go there right now. Anyway, uh, oh, the chocolate trifle. Yeah, it's basically chocolate mousse with whipped cream. Not my favorite thing. And finally, the uh, that sale on the ganache cake. Reminds me of something. I don't know what, though. Well, anyway, probably come to me when I'm editing this. But anyway, the chocolate... Oh, gosh. Ah, there we go. All right. Very dense. Very chocolatey. The cake, though. I'm having a real tough time describing the cake. It's it's good, but I don't know. It's not like we're getting another celebrity cookie to try. The one yesterday was, uh, oh, last night. Was it last night? Yeah, wasn't that great. But well, this is this is on the main line. Much better. It's thick, has the right amount of chewiness. Not overly sweet. Chocolate's definitely there. So this is the one that gets the reputation. All right, so far the best out of all of this is the cookie and the lemon tart, because the meringue is fantastic. I think I said before, somebody in the Royal Caribbean who knows how to make a fantastic meringue, and it's it's here, very, very good. So, I was filming the intro. No, I wasn't filming it, I'm not using film. Why do, why do people say that? I was recording the intro to this, and this lady walked by, and she's like, don't film me. At least that's what I think she said. And again, I just reminded everybody, no, you're not gonna get filmed, believe me. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it. I'm gonna finish this up because it's turning out to be really, really good, and then um, close this out. Had a great time. And that's one bite of everything here at the Ocean View Cafe aboard the classic celebrity silhouette. That actually was pretty easy, a lot less effort than I thought it would be. In fact, it is almost as little effort as hitting that subscribe button. So go ahead and show me how lazy you are by, by doing that right now. Anyway, well, because it was one bite, I did leave a lot of things that I really wanted to try, and that makes me a little bit sad, but, it does make me very happy for my problems. Oh.